Good morning. Welcome back. It's been a long couple of days. We've learned a lot. Um, if you have not watched the first four videos and this is the first time clicking on one, go back and watch the other four before you watch this. This is a must. You have to watch them all. Just like you have to read the whole Bible to understand it, you have to watch all my videos to understand what I'm teaching you. This is no different. Over the last four days, we've covered some very serious things. And we've uncovered a very serious truth. And the very real truth is that the Bible means exactly what it says. If you say that you believe in Jesus, if you say that you believe in God, then you have to believe that every word the Bible says is true. And I'm not talking about the other translations. I'm talking about the King James. Because all the other King all the other translations are compared to the King James. It is the standard. It is what I am teaching from. It means every word it says in the exact context it says it, minus the prophets and revelation. So from Matthew to Jude, it means exactly what it says. I'm not interpreting anything. I'm just reading the verses off the pages. Over the past couple of days, we've covered some of the hardest things. Very hard pills to swallow. The Bible is very clear, though. If you sin, you don't know Him. I think I've pretty much drilled that home. 1 John 3, 6 says... Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not, whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. The Bible is not lying. The Bible is non-negotiable. It's not up to your interpretation. It's not up to your opinion. He means exactly what he says. In 3.6, 3, 3.8, he says, He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. That's what Jesus came here to do. That's exactly what he did for the people who choose to believe in him. In him. And that's what this is all about. 3.9 says, Whosoever is born of God sinneth not. Doth not commit sin, I'm sorry. For his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin. Because he is born of God. This confirms 3.6 that if you sin, you don't know him. So I'm going to try and level off of these now. Because we've covered that. We've established that. This is what the Bible says. It's the truth. I'm just teaching you the truth. Don't get mad at me. And if you are mad, good. Keep watching. Because in order for you to know, you have to get mad. You have to. Your sin has to be exposed. You have to realize that you, as a sinner, if you sin, are not saved. That's the exposure. So if you don't like what I'm saying because I'm teaching you exactly what the Bible says and that it means exactly what it says, that's the Holy Spirit convicting you, telling you to listen. If you don't want to listen and you want to keep going about and live in your sin, you're going to die in your sin. I don't care. You can say you believe all you want. Many people say they believe. That's why many in that day will say to him, Lord, Lord, have we not done all this good stuff in your name? And he will say, I never knew you. Because they still sinned. They didn't believe. And that's what I'm going to get to. Oh, 1 John 8, 31 says, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. So if you continue in his word, if you believe his word, then you're his disciple. 8.34, though, says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. It's not lying. He doesn't lie. His word doesn't lie. We do. Okay? So, I'm just going to teach you the truth from it. And it's that simple. So, today, what I really want to get to is, What is sin? What really is sin? Is it adultery? Is it... Is it smoking? Is it cussing? Is it not taking a shower for a week? What is sin? Okay. So the Bible's very clear about this too. And I thank God every day because this thing is crystal clear. The Bible says in 1 John 3, 4, Whoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. 
sin is the transgression of the law. That's the definition. That's what it says. That's exactly what it means. If you sin, you are transgressing the law. It's very, very, very simple. Okay? It doesn't get any easier than that. If you sin, you transgress the law. Pretty sure we can all agree that that's exactly what it is. Um, James 4.17 says, Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So if you know to do good, well then you got to also know not to do bad. So if you know to do good and you don't do it, that's sin. Because you're transgressing the law. Right? But the Bible says that whoever sins has not seen him or known him. Now the Bible's the truth. It tells the truth. And my whole hope from all of this is that you'll open your Bible. That you'll get to these answers before I give them. Because then that way, you're seeing it for yourself. But at the same token, I'm happy to show you what faith is. I'm happy to show you. Because at the end of the day, James 5.20 says, Let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. That is my goal, is to convert you, the sinner, from the error of your way so that you will go forth and sin no more and believe and trust him in full that what he said, he did. And he did it for you. So that you would believe and be saved. Okay. So we're going to move on now. To Romans 14 verse 23. It says. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat. Because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. It says. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Do you understand this? It's not complex. It's very simple. Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. He that sins transgresses the law. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. I'm going to let you stew on this for a while. But this is the reality. And the Bible doesn't lie. It says whosoever commits sin has not seen him neither known him. This is the reality check. And we're getting ready to move past this. But if you haven't watched all these videos, you're not going to understand. And if you don't read your Bible, you're not going to understand. And I don't want to be responsible for you at the last day when he says, Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. Iniquity is sin, is it not? Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. He's talking to people who called him Lord. They said they believed, but they committed iniquity. They were workers of iniquity. They were sinners still. Even though they said they believed, they still sinned. And he said, I don't know them. And he means that. And if you think that you can't believe in vain, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 2. I'm going to go ahead and go to this now, just to get this out of the way. 1 Corinthians Chapter 15, verses 1 and 2. He says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. That's what I'm declaring to you today. I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. So they believe, but they believe in vain because they don't keep in memory what he preached. And this is what I'm preaching to you today. That if you say you believe and you still sin, you don't know him. And you don't believe. You have to believe his word means exactly what it says. And it does. I'm just reading it off the paper. That's all it is. Just reading it off the paper as it is his truth, as it is as it is truth. And giving it to you, the watcher, who will hopefully open your Bible. And get ahead of me here. Because this is important. This is for your soul. I've already got people, comment warriors, want to get in there and keyboard type to me. It's non-negotiable. I get it. You don't like hearing it. That's the conviction. 
Wake up. It's real. He's real. He did what he did. And if you really want salvation assurance, then you're going to have to keep watching. Because if you say you still sin, if you think you still sin, if you're battling sin, you're not saved. This is non-negotiable. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. But I watch all these preachers on YouTube and they're all garbage. They're teaching you to sin. I'm going to teach you how to walk away from it forever. Because that's what Jesus did. And that's what his word says. And I trust his word. And I'm hoping you will too. Till the next video, hopefully later today, I want you to think about this. Sin is transgression of the law. Think really long and hard about it. Read your Bible. Because if you say you sin, you don't know him.